All right, guys, here we have a 2016 Dodge Ram 4500 heavy duty bucket truck. Let me show you how to turn on the, the bucket here. So right down on the floor, you want to set the parking brake first. Come on over here. There's a PTO switch. You can flip on the strobe lights also. If you look up there, you see the strobe lights blinking in the sun. We'll go ahead and we'll walk around to the back of the vehicle. And we got to go in this back compartment and make sure the lower controls and put them to the upper controls. So they were set the lower controls before, now we're putting them on the upper controls. All right, we're in the boom, we're in the bucket. We just set the safety, lock the safety right here. And here are our upper controls. It's high speed, low speed. Lower raise, clockwise, counterclockwise, extend, stow. So we're gonna go high speed raise. This is the Alltech AT200A model, boom. It'll go up about 36 feet working height, which is about 11 meters. If we extend, it'll extend for a side reach of 22.7 feet. If we went all the way up, it would articulate up to about an 80 degree angle. I'll demonstrate the rotation here. And this thing will rotate about 370 degrees non-continuously. So what that means is it'll rotate all the way from the back to the front of the truck then it will stop up there and then you have to rotate it back around and it can rotate all the way from the other side up to the front of the truck. And this is an all steel boom. All right, under the hood, this is the 6.4 liter Hemi gasoline engine, 410 horsepower, 429 foot-pounds of torque, and the best part, it has lots of room to work on it. If you guys know the diesel, it's pretty packed under there, so this gas engine is nice. You can just go ahead and remove this air filter housing, and then you really have a ton of space. That's what the diesel looks like. So that's why a lot of people will choose the gasoline engine. They like the simplicity of it. Let me show you the tires here. A lot of tread still left on them. We'll go to the utility box, open it up. Lots of storage. You have these nice aluminum shelves. You have adjustable spacing. You can raise and lower the height. Same over here. More of those adjustable shelves. Lots of space. You can put whatever you want back here. We'll go ahead and we'll walk around the other side. We got a pinto hook, run a tour trailer. Up here we have 110 volt outlet. We have an inverter over here on the other side. I'll show you in just a minute. And back here we have our lower controls. So you can operate the boom from the upper controls that we did earlier or these lower controls. Just more storage space. Here we have our inverter. We also have a roadside safety kit. Okay, we're inside the Dodge. This is kind of nice right here. You can put that third row seat backing down and you have some cup holders, a little bit more storage. Let's fire up the engine. We have 107,000 miles. Air conditioning blows nice and cold, which we need today. It's 97 degrees. Radio works good. Here we have traction control, tow haul, PTO switch, strobe light switch. Let's take it for a test drive. I'll stay quiet for you.
brakes feel really nice. Transmission shifts nice. The front end feels really good. The steering wheel feels solid. You know, right away I noticed that this Dodge shifts about 300 RPM or so lower than the Ford 6.8 liter gasoline powered truck counterpart for this vehicle.